stop doing endless trial and error to find the minimum cut in these max flow equations. We're going to show you a systematic way to find the answer every time. So we've got this question here from the 2024 NHT where we basically got to find the max flow. So I'm going to quickly show you. So what we're going to do instead of making those stupid cuts, minimum cuts, I'm sorry, it's just dumb. Okay. Um, because what ended up happening was the minimum cut was something like this or something like this. I don't know. You just don't know what's going to happen. And there's so many other rules that they don't tell you about when you find the minimum cut. So for example, going like this, we actually can't include 12 in our calculation. Like, who knew that? Anyways, so what we're going to be doing is figuring out what is the bottleneck edge in every potential path. So let's say we're going down this way. We see that the bottleneck edge was 13. This is the lowest. That means only 13 people can go through that path. So that means we're going to pretend that all 13 people go here, which means there's zero people left here, which means there's 21 people left here. And there's basically 43 left there. So I'm going to write the number 13 just in my working out. So what this basically means are that is that these numbers, there are spots remaining. And now what we can say is that we don't have to worry about this edge ever again because there's zero spots remaining. Um, so what that means is that there are 21 spots available for people to go in there. Here there's 43 spots available. Now let's continue and see. Another thing to note is that this number 12, because zero people are going through from here that means no one can access this path if this path is blocked therefore this path is automatically also blocked so we're just going to cross that out and if you think about that if this path is blocked then that means this path is also blocked automatically so it's not going to consider that whole top section in our network diagram so now another um, pathway i'm imagining is the one going like this way this way this way as you can see the bottleneck from those three edges is 16. So we're going to use 16 as our number. So then we just take away 16 from all these numbers. So 18 minus 16 is 2. 16 minus 16 is 0. 43 minus 16 is 27. And that also means, because this is now, there's no more spots available uh, from that path, we can now cross it out. And logically speaking, if that path is crossed out, that means the two people from here have nowhere to go. So we're going to also block that out as well. So now we just have these other parts left. So let's consider the people going this way, then this way, and then this way. As you can see, nine people can go that way. So we're going to write boom, boom there. That's nine people. So we're going to subtract nine. That means there's 18. That means there's zero spots remaining here. 31 minus nine. 22. So if this spot is blocked out, then we can put an X. Okay, cool. So these 22 people that are remaining, they can still go down this way and down back this way, which is a bit weird going backwards, but that's what can happen. So let's now highlight another potential path. We could have people going down this way, this way, up this way, down that way. The lowest number in that is 15. So 15 is our bottleneck. So I'm going to write down 15. Okay, 15. Okay, so going that way, then this way, then up here. So this becomes zero. This has now two spots remaining, minus 15. Minus 15, that's three. And minus 15, that's seven. Okay, cool. So this is zero, I'm gonna cross it out now. And then, okay, so let's highlight and see what are more potential parts. We could have seven people going this way, this way, this way. And then only two people going up and two people this way. So that's an overall in net increase of two. So I'm going to write two. And then now this becomes one. This becomes zero. Um, this becomes 30. This becomes 18. And this becomes five. So because this path is now blocked out, that also means that this path is blocked out because nothing can reach that anymore. So I'm going to block that out. So that still leaves us some options. So we still have five people here. So we could have another path of people going from this side, this side, that side. Um, and the bottleneck number is five. So I'm going to write, okay, five. So now this becomes zero because all five are going that way. 13, so going like that. And then 30 minus five is 25. And 21 minus five is 16. 
cool. And then I'm going to cross out this road. Um, so now, if you think about it, if this road is crossed out, that means this path is now inaccessible. So I'm going to cross that out. That leaves us with one last path, which is like that. And as you can see, the bottleneck is this 16. So going down this way. Now, I could technically just finish at that, but I'm just going to be a bit more resolute. So I'm going to write the 16 here. And I'm going to make this a 0. 25 minus 16 is 9. And 18 minus 16 is 2. And now this road is crossed out. That means that the people going this way and this way, they have no way to go. So that means it's crossed out. This is crossed out. This is technically what you should end up with, a graph with all the edges crossed out. And now we're going to add up all of these numbers to give us our final answer of... So we're going to add up those numbers and it gives us a final answer of 76, which is our answer here. All we do is go through all the networks, see what capacities they have, how much capacity is remaining after the things have flown through and then crossing out blocking them off once they reach their maximum capacity or if no one can reach that path any longer and then ending up with the final value and adding all this up and that is it.